Hello there! In this video, we're going to cover how to integrate GitLab with Jira software in Bitbucket. We'll see how we can automatically update Jira issues by annotating commit messages and branch names with Jira issue IDs. Alright, we're going to install the GitLab integration to this new Jira software instance. One of the prerequisites for doing that is that we already have an existing GitLab account with our repositories in it, and we've authenticated into that GitLab account. Once that's set up, what we can do is go over to the left-hand navbar over here and click on Project Settings. Once we're in this screen, we can go down and click on Toolchain. And then from here, we can click on Add and Add Code Repository. Click GitLab. Then click Get It Now. Click Configure App. Click Save. We're going to use GitLab SAS. Click Sign In to GitLab. And click Link Groups. And let's choose RPML Quick Start Guys group. Now that we've linked the group to our Jira software instance, we can close this tab. We can go back to our tool chain and we can click on GitLab again. We're going to be asked to authentically. Click Authorize. We click on GitLab. And now we can add a repository. From the drop down, we're going to choose Submit Image. We're going to click Add Repository. Now let's click back to project. We can go down to the code tab. Now we can see that submit image for GitLab has been added. We can open this in a new tab. And it takes us directly to it. Now we're going to take a look at how we can use this integration to automatically populate data in our Jira software issues by doing commits, pushes to branches in GitLab. So to start with, we're going to jump back over to our Jira board. Now we're going to move git-5 into in progress. We're going to click on it. And if we look on the right hand side in this development section, we see that there's no branches or commits or anything against it. We're going to remember this git-5. Now if we go to GitLab, I've got this submit image repository cloned down to my workstation. So if we jump over to that, we can see that we are on our mainline branch and that our working directory is clear. First thing I'm going to do is check out a new branch with git checkout minus b. And I'm going to name this branch after the Jira software issue that we're working with. So if we do a git status, we now see we're on branch git minus 5. I'm going to make a change to our readme file, just as a really trivial change for illustrative purposes. Now if we do a git status, we can see that we've modified this file. We're going to do a git add minus minus all. We're going to do a git commit minus m. And when we do our git commit, we're also going to put the Jira issue ID in the commit message. Now we're going to do a git push minus u origin git minus 5. This pushes that change up to GitLab in the git minus 5 branch. Now we're going to jump over to GitLab. In GitLab here in the pipeline section, we can see that we've got a pipeline running. If we drill in here real quickly. We can see that we're going to run a whole bunch of steps. This is for our branches or branch deployments. Um, we're going to do a pull request after this and we'll see the production pipeline run as well. Now that the pipeline is finished successfully, let's create a pull request. Now we can merge it, prove it. And if we go back over to build pipelines, we should see a production deployment pipeline kicking off. Here it is. So if we click in, we can now see that we're deploying to our production environments. Now that the pipeline is finished running, we can go back over to our Jira board, take a look at our Jira issue. And we can see in the bottom right, the development panel has been updated. 
So if we click into it, you can see that we've got one branch. If we click into commits, you can see we've had two commits, one of which was done by our merge request. If we click into pull requests, we can see we've created a single pull request. Click into builds, there's been a couple builds that have been done by GitLab. And if we look into deployments, we can see that we've deployed to all five of our environments. All right, thank you for watching this video about integrating GitLab with Jira software and Bitbucket. You can find more videos like this in the Developer's Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.